Glendale Tech on Tap event, co-hosted by Dish TV and um, Glendale Tech on Tap. So as you know, we will be viewing the Supra um, documentary. But before we get into that, we wanted to give a quick intro. We won't waste too much time, just about 10 minutes. So just to introduce myself, my name is Ani Tarosian. I'm the CEO and founder of Dish TV. Dish, <laughs> uh, Dish TV is an yeah. online platform that connects approved home cooks with hungry neighbors. Um, so the cooks that actually prepared the, the meal that you're enjoying right now, first of all, they're Supra-inspired um, recipes. So they're all Ar of Arabic nature. Um, so you had a dessert and you had two sort of like main items. So they're, they were provided by cook Elo, who lives in Glendale. She's Jordanian, um, Lebanese, Armenian. And then also cook Suri, who's actually here in the front row, who um, made the dessert. So I hope you enjoy. So a quick, just a quick story on how I found, came across Sufra. So last month I was on a flight, actually two months ago, to Argentina. We have our develop, development team down there. And I was going there for work, to, to work with the developers. And it's a 12 hour flight and towards um, the end of the flight, I could not do any more work on my computer. My eyes were just dying and I can't sleep on a plane. So I decided to pick a movie. So I saw a documentary about food. I'm like, sure, let's pick this. Um, needless to say, I was very touched by the movie. It's about um, Palestinian refugees who are women in these refugee camps who are trying to make um, you know, uh, economic opportunity for themselves through food. And this really spoke to the mission that you know, we're trying to build here in California, um, albeit with different barriers that our cooks are trying to overcome. But it really hit a, a tone with me. Um, and so every five minutes, my husband was on the trip with me as well, I would stop the movie, I'm like, oh my God, and then they said this, and this is exactly what we're thinking about. And so he, by the end of the movie, he was just tired of me saying that. But you'll notice that about hour marker, like an hour and 10 minutes into the movie, maybe, maybe less than that, um, one of the main characters, when she's being interviewed, there's a tattered sign right behind her in the middle of a Lebanese city that says Divi, D-I-V-V-Y. Wow. And to me, that was, like a literal sign that I had to get involved. So over the shoddy Latin American Wi-Fi, as we're going over Brazil, I reach out to, I, I just kind of do some cyber stalking and find the director and the producer of the film, um, get in touch with them, and then here we are today. So, um, you know, this is really near and dear to our heart. I want to introduce Tamar from the city of Glendale, who will tell you about what Glendale Tech on Tap is, and then also the Tech Week that's coming up. Okay. Thank you, Ani, and thank you all uh, so much for coming out today. We are very excited to partner with Dish Divi for this event. Uh, Ani has been a leader in our Glendale tech community for a number of years now, and Dish Divi has been a trailblazer in the food tech industry, and we are so excited to partner with them for this event. Um, as Ani mentioned, my name's Tamad. Uh, this is my um, uh, colleague, Savannah, and she co-organizes Glendale Tech on Tap with me. Uh, we are a City of Glendale sponsored monthly event. Uh, we hold networking events um, each month um, in the City of Glendale. It's a space for Glendale based entrepreneurs, startups, innovators to have a space to come, mingle, and um, stay on top of what's going on in the tech industry here in the city. Um, so just a couple of quick announcements uh, for Glendale Tech Week. Uh, save the date, it'll be September 14th through the 21st. We're very excited. Uh, if you go to glendaletechweek.com, um, if, if you or your company is interested in hosting an event for Glendale Tech Week, uh, there'll be an application form and you can apply to host an event at Glendale Tech Week. Um, and if you're, in, if you're a startup and you're interested in participating in Pitch Fest, you can um, go to glendaletechweek.com to fill out an interest form to be notified when the application window for Pitch Fest opens. And uh, very quickly, before I forget, is there anyone in the audience who requires an assistive listening device? No? Okay. Um, so for the movie, if you need to, um, if you need them for the movie, they can be found at the front desk, the box office. And for the afterwards portion, the Q&A discussion, um, please come find myself or Savannah and we can provide you with these devices if you need them. Thank you, Tamar. Real quick, I want to thank our corporate sponsor, so you see them splash on the screen here. Um, these are businesses that are all local to the community and have been involved with the community and really believe in our vision. 
Um, so we have Next Home Realty from Montrose, Friendly Filmworks. We have Ara, the director from Friendly Filmworks here. Thank you. Roya Ebrahimi, agent of New York Life in Glendale. Inverse Logic, who's a cybersecurity um, tech company, very involved in Glendale Tech. Bruno Group, um, corporate law attorneys in Glendale, very involved with Glendale Tech. Fenwick and West, um, a tech company a legal firm. And then Keen Fitness, which is a women's fitness studio in Montrose. Okay, so. It's my pleasure to introduce Father Vasquez Mosesian. He will be leading the thought discussion after the filming. Um, what's gonna be really great is he's gonna give you maybe a quick um, sort of background and historical context um, for um, the, the environment that you're gonna see in the film. Uh, Father, I've known Father Vasquez for over 30 years. In fact, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, my brother and I were the first children he baptized in his priesthood. Um, so as you, <laughs> as you sit there, trying to calculate how old I am, uh, or how old he is. Um, with for, no further ado, um, Father Vasquez of In His Shoes. So In His Shoes is a nonprofit organization with the mission of rallying support for those who suffer in the world. Thank you, Ronnie. And um, I am the equivalent of a child bride. I was a child priest, so don't, don't try to think too hard about that. Anyway, it's a pleasure to be here, and following the the, the screening today will have an opportunity because after you see it you're gonna come up with a lot of thoughts which we, we want that's what that's why we're showing this that's why this screening is taking place uh, we're facing the largest refugee crisis in in history right now but what's unique about what you're you'll see today in Lebanon is that this is generational refugees in other words these refugees, some of these refugees have been not only them, their parents, their grandparents, since the 1940s in the case of the Palestinians. And so generational refugees, these are people who have not known any other life except to be a refugee. I was, um, my second parish had a lot of people from uh, Lebanon. And I'll never forget when we talk about uh, their childhood, they'd refer to a camp and I, you know, my only idea of camp was a fun place where you would go and you'd be with kids during the summer. And soon, not later, I realized that the camp they're referring to, there's nothing fun about it. There's nothing about uh, youth going out there and exploring. And in fact, they were referring to these refugee camps. And I mentioned that because we refer to them as refugee camps, but it's been so long that they're just known as camps. They're the camps because we've just now accepted the fact that refugees are among us. In Lebanon, uh, there's six million people is the latest uh, the Google search that I did on um, uh, the population, six million. Uh, two million are refugees. So figure one in every three people is a refugee. That's where we're gonna be going today. And afterwards, we'll have a, a chance to talk about it. I just spoke with a gentleman who just returned from Lebanon from the camps. I'll share that with you, and we'll have a, an opportunity for about a half an hour, 45 minutes, in, to, to discuss what we see. So thank you very much, and on with the show. Yeah. Well, on with the 